I've been looking at a lot of the discussions about pH balance lately and found quite a few myths within these discussions. One of the biggest myths in the pH discussions is that microbes will thrive in an acidic environment and are killed off by an alkaline environment. This really isn't true. Most of our pathogenic microbes actually thrive in an alkaline environment and are killed off by an acidic environment. I'll give you some good examples. One is E. coli, a bacteria found in the intestines, which is actually alkaline. Another good example is the bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. This is a little corkscrew shaped bacteria that screws itself into the stomach lining where it can cause ulcerations of the stomach and stomach cancer. The bacteria is very sensitive to stomach acid, so to protect itself from the acidity of the stomach, it actually secretes highly alkaline ammonia to neutralize the stomach acid. Another good example is Candida. Now, candida is what they call a dimorphic microbe. This means it exists in more than one form. It can exist as a yeast, which is a fairly benign form that's found inside the body, and then it can convert into a fungal form where it develops little finger-like projections called hyphae, which allows it to dig into the tissues and damage the tissue. The candida will go into a yeast form in an uh, acidic environment. Normally, we have acids in areas where candida is found that will keep it in this yeast form. For example, uh, in our colon, on the skin, uh, in the vaginal cavity. These are areas where candida is normally found in the body. These areas maintain acidity through what they call flora, which are beneficial bacteria. They generate acids uh, such as acetic acid, lactic acid, and fatty acids that keep the candida under control. When we kill off these bacteria, it shifts the pH of the terrain from the acidic side into an alkaline side causing the candida to go into a fungal form. And again, when it goes into this fungal form, it develops the hyphae, and that causes the tissue damage. It also turns on the candida growth gene, causing the candida to grow out of control. So to recap everything, most of our pathogenic microbes will thrive in an alkaline environment, and they're actually controlled by the acidic environment.